Another five minute mystery. Our story takes us to the Long Island home of wealthy Mrs. Nottingham. Set in dense growth on a hill, lonesome, secluded, and dark. The shadow of a human figure climbs into a window, crosses the unlighted room to a safe in the wall. Two minutes later, the figure is gone, and in a matter of minutes, turmoil rules the house. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Philip, who could have done such a thing? Did anybody know you had the sapphire hair, Mrs. Nottingham? Only Jamie and I. It was just delivered from the bank this afternoon. What's going on down here? Oh, Jamie. The safe. Afraid we've had a thief in the night, Jamie. They've stolen the sapphire. It's gone. Jamie, could it have been one of the servants? But Aunt Nora, none of them knew the stone was here. What's that stuck back in the safe there? Well, it's, it's an envelope addressed to me. What? Well, then let's open it. Hmm. Plain paper, typewritten. It says, uh, 7th November, 1945, dear Mrs. Nottingham. Meet me at the old stone mill Wednesday night at 9. Bring with you $5,000 in cash, small bills and I will return your sapphire. If you report this theft, you'll never see the Nottingham sapphire again. No signature? No. And whoever did it must have known the stone was to be brought here, Aunt Laura. Look at the date. 7th November. That, that was yesterday. This robbery must have been planned for days. Well, there's nothing to do except get the stone back again. Tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, I'll meet our thief at the old stone mill. Oh. So he was as good as his word, Inspector Webster. I went alone to the mill, handed him the money, took the sapphire, and left. Yes, and a day later, you reported the matter to the police. But my aunt had to be sure of getting the stone back, Inspector. I begged Mrs. Nottingham to let me accompany her. Since I came from England three weeks ago, I've been a guest in her house. I wanted to help. But, uh, this note, it tells us a great deal, Mrs. Nottingham. What, Inspector? Whoever wrote it is obviously the thief. Someone who was close enough to you to manage the combination of the safe. I'm afraid that's true, Aunt Laura. The sapphire was delivered from the bank a few hours before it was stolen. And only you, Mrs. Nottingham, and your nephew, knew about it. None of the servants did. Mr. Philip Harrison here is the only Englishman in your house. Why, yes. And uh, do you really want to find the thief? Of course we do. Then I may as well tell you. I'm arresting Mr. Harrison as the thief. Come along, Harrison. I'll take your confession at headquarters. What led Inspector Webster to believe Philip Harrison was the culprit? In a moment, we'll hear the solution. To our story. Until Philip Harrison confessed, we had no proof of his guilt, although the note itself was enough for me. As you probably know, we Americans always date our letters by first designating the month, then the day. In England, the custom is different. Letters are dated day first, then the month, as in the note, 7th November, 1945. So you can see, in that note, Philip Harrison unconsciously wrote his own confession. 